The Grizzly Creek Fire, just east of Glenwood Springs, is now considered a top national firefighting priority. It has grown to more than 13,000 acres. And we learned that the flames blew through the popular Hanging Lake tourist destination just east of Glenwood. Want to start our coverage tonight with Jamie Leary. She is live in Edwards. Jamie, that Grizzly Creek Fire still has 70 shut down. Got to think that's going to last for several more days. And we can see a lot of ash falling from the sky as the wind continues to push this fire further east. That means that the smoke here, it's thick and worsening from fairgrounds to high schools to community centers. Everyone's putting plans aside to do what they can to help. And for one high school in Gypsum, that meant changing registration plans in order to help serve the firefighters working hard to contain the Grizzly Creek fire. Well, I guess the real fear is, is what direction it's going to head. And if it continues to head east, that puts all of our communities in further danger. Like right many now, in Eagle County, yes. Greg Doan is familiar with forest fires, but this? Yeah, definitely smoke wise, it's worse. Uh, seeing a lot more ash directly falling. You know, so you wake up and it's like Pompeii, Vesuvius, you know, you see the ash falling on you. And for the first time ever, Principal Doan has opened the doors of Eagle Valley High to serve as an incident command post. Able to use our classrooms, uh, our baseball field for um, people to camp on, our locker rooms for showers. School starts in 10 days, but Doan has closed registration for today. Some staff live in Dotsero, just east of the fire. They're under pre evacuation orders or due to air quality. Uh, a lot of people are going to try and maybe get out of town for the weekend and then we can reassess next week. Uh, to see. Just next door was the site for any evacuees, but the afternoon smoke has increased. And Doan says, like other high schools, Eagle Valley is on standby to help in any way. We're ready to take on and, you know, help and be an incident command center when necessary and do things online for our, our students and staff and parents when we need to. Now, Battle Mountain High School is one of those high schools in Eagle County set up to help anybody impacted. And the Red Cross here said as soon as they hear that there is an evacuation ordered for that Dotsero community, people can come here, put their name down on a list to get a room to a hotel. We're live in Eagle County. Jamie Leary covering Colorado first. Jamie, no surprise that community is stepping up. Governor Polis here.